for, excuse me, but you still managed to stick to the run and show that patience. How important is it for you to be able to do that? Was that easy to do so just as far as, you know, maintaining the momentum? Yeah, uh, we've talked before about, you know, just our identity and the culture around here. And, and again, alluding to some of the uh, responses last week, you can do that when you're staying ahead of the chains. When you're earning first downs on first and second down and when you're not behind the sticks, uh, you can stay more patient and you can open up the playbook a little bit more. And so uh, I felt good about the ability to do that. Certainly Derek was showing that he was uh, a force to be reckoned with. And so we, we stuck with that and it paid off. Well, you've been here for two. Week one to week two. What have you learned about yourself as a play caller and directing this offense in terms of making adjustments and all? Yeah, you know, I think uh, I think that's an ongoing process, a week by week thing, depending on who you're playing. You know, and I think that that's been, uh, you know, a challenge each week is is to identify what uh, adjustments you have to anticipate and things that you may need to go to on the sideline. So, I think for me, it, you know, it's going to be a, a clean slate each week, trying to figure out the best way to put our guys in the best position to succeed. You've been here for a couple of years, but but now as the guy who's calling the plays. You maybe realize more than ever what a luxury it is to have someone like Derek who you just call any kind of run play and, and boom at 60 yards down the field. Yeah, I mean, it, he's an absolutely phenomenal player, but I also have to tip my cap to the guys up front blocking for him. You know, they, they grinded through it as well. You know that we had some other pieces come in there and have to fill in for some spots, and and uh, we have that expectation here that no matter who's in there, we, uh, we look a certain way on offense, and I thought those guys really exemplified that. Even with that, how big a concern is pass protection, you know, nine sacks and you know, strip sack each of the first two games? Yeah, you know, we definitely need to uh, make sure that we're keeping Ryan upright. You know, and it's it's every position uh, that has a responsibility to that. It's not just the offensive line, but the tight ends, the running backs, the receivers need to get open on time, and, and Ryan needs to deliver the ball on time. Um, certainly, it's it's on me to put them in the best position to succeed in doing that and try to create good matchups in pass protection. Uh, and so, you know, we're a work in progress there and working hard to improve in that area. What happened with Josh uh, on the penalty, and how do you get him going? You know, I think, uh, you know, we, we did a, a pretty good job overall of handling that loud environment, and that was just a byproduct of, uh, you know, being a little bit off between the, the cadence, the timing of the snap, and Josh's motion. Uh, we got to continue to stay parallel to the line of scrimmage until we know the ball is snapped. Um, and, you know, Josh is working hard to to find his role um, on this offense. And I think it speaks a little bit to how some of the other guys have stepped up uh, and why maybe they're getting some reps. You know, Nick Westbrook being a guy that does a lot of dirty work, has earned a lot of playing time, uh, Chester Rogers as well. And so we're going to be an ongoing process of figuring out uh, what his role is going to be and, and where he can step up and contribute. Look how Michael played on Sunday and like, when, when he kind of performed like that, he kind of earned more opportunities. Yeah, you know, uh, we expect consistency, whether it's in the run game or the pass game, you know, and, and certainly he had some production in the pass game. We've just got to get more consistent overall, uh, and that leads to more opportunities for everybody. Was the heavy involvement for Julio Jones, was that by design or was that just kind of where the play was taking Tannehill? How was your explain? Yeah, I think it's similar to uh, to my response last week. You know, it, it's a byproduct of the game, getting more opportunities on first and second down to call some of those play action shots and then also be able to make adjustments on the sideline uh, to the looks that we're getting on first and second down. And so, um, you know, as I mentioned, just because someone, uh, you know, doesn't get targeted on the play doesn't mean that they weren't first in the progression. And just because somebody gets the reception doesn't mean they were they were first in the progression. So it's a balance there. You know, I think that there are going to be uh, defenses that try to take away certain players, and and there are going to be opportunities for others. Uh, deal with the, your your new analytics guy uh, during the week at all? Is that like a, any kind of a regular? session now that now that you guys have one or, or how does that work you know we get some reports we got a lot of information that's readily available to us and um, sometimes how that can fit in the flow of the week changes you know you come back from a, a long west coast trip or what have you uh, it can adjust some of those meeting schedules but as we get into the season get a rhythm going uh, we'll see where that fits found it helpful uh, you know i know he's new but found it helpful so far or? yeah i think part of my role is to gain you know all information I can and then be the filter and the funnel to the game plan and to the players. So uh, you know I, I'll take any information I can get. With uh, Derek catching the six balls as well the other day, how valuable was that and how hard has he worked to become a more consistent pass catcher? Yeah, you know, I, I think Derek uh, made the most of his opportunities in the past game and 
you know, we have to aggressively take what the defense gives us. And if they're going to sink underneath and take away all the receivers, then we need to make some hay on check downs and on screens and things like that. So uh, I was pleased to see him uh, execute well and be ready when his number was called in the pass game, just like he is in the run game. I mentioned that one of the long throws you had was sort of thanks to him as a pass protector. How, how, how do you see him improving in that area specifically? Well, you, you guys saw Jamal Adams and how aggressive he was in the run game and fit in those gaps. And uh, a lot of times in our play action protections, it's going to take the back picking up someone who bit on the play fake. And Derek did just that, you know, in multiple times. And uh, very unselfish player. He's a guy that, you know, uh, tries to do for his teammates like they do for him uh, as blockers. And so him being able to step up in their firm and, and pick up blitzers or adders in the run game, uh, it's critical to our play pass. So thinking and taking him off the field on a fourth and, and three in a game where he's catching well and protecting well. Yeah, you know, uh, that that scenario went from a third and extra long now to a, a fourth and, and potential go for it. And so we went with what we thought was a, you know, a good uh, call for us and a good personnel grouping for us in that of uh, third and fourth and medium situation. Uh, didn't think it was close enough where we were going to be running the ball there. And so getting a, a protect him back in there or free release back in there, we thought was best. Two games is a small sample size, but are you seeing teams maybe coming out early, loading the box, you know, focusing on trying to stop your run game? Yeah, I think that that will probably be a common theme for a while with Derrick Henry back there is, you know, uh, trying to stop the run. And, and there certainly has been a commitment to that. Um, you know, and as you, as you, kind of get into your game plan, you make some adjustments, maybe it's aiming points on a combination block, whatever the case may be, uh, you know, you, you start to see their adjustments as well, right? And so that's kind of the game you play within the game is they may not show loaded box, but on the snap, it's a loaded box or they're loaded up in there and they bail out. It's kind of ebb and flow to the game there. But I think we'll, we'll probably get commitment to stopping the run as long as we got 22 back there. Did you see kind of a difference as the game wore on and you were hitting Julio with those shots, did you see maybe, you know, a little less loaded box, uh, you know, the more you the more you did that? Yeah, I would say they certainly softened up, you know. I'd say they certainly softened up. They may have aligned down there, but then once they recognized play pass, they got out of there, or maybe they were a little uh, slower to trigger. But, uh, you know, I think that that's something that, you know, is a testament to our offensive line and our running backs is that regardless of the look, you know, we were able to stick with it and, uh, and find some creases later in the game. And, you know, that, uh, that certainly is a big reason why we're able to win. You know, your, your own line, I wonder if you could talk about the improvement that uh, Quisenberry has made, uh, you know, for maybe from just one season to the, to the next. Yeah, he's, uh, he's an incredible guy to be around every day, just a joy for the game. And so when you approach this business that way, you're going to find ways to improve. And uh, he's, he certainly puts it all out there for us. He's an emotional leader. You know, he plays a great finish and great effort. I can't count the number of times he was there to help the running back up. Uh, you know, and just by nature, when you keep approaching the game and you keep approaching obstacles and hardships and going through some of those tough times uh, with that kind of resiliency, uh, you're going to continue to improve and improve. So the quiz is a, a, a great guy to have around here.